Hello and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Well, we survived the raid in the last episode and we have actually managed to get all of the fence um, around the main part of the base upgraded to carbon, which um, has 250 hit points versus 50. So that is awesome. That's going to help. We need to work on some more defenses though. Uh, we do have a tachy tachyon source that's just popped up. Let's have a look what that says. So our sensors are reacting to repeating bursts of tachyon radiation. Through some effort and pinpointing, we were able to locate the source nearby. Most curious. So I reckon that's an opportunity for an expedition. Um, let's go and see what that one says. Uh, tachyon radiation emitted from this location is causing sensor fluctu uh, fluctuations. Should we send Grayson? Considering he was the one who alerted us to this. Yeah, why not? We've not sent him on an expedition so far. Okay, so we've done most of the um, upgrade to the fence. Uh, we still have a lot of carbon left in stock. Um, I did realise that we didn't have a floor down here, so I'm just going to put some carbon tiles down. Stop them freaking out. And actually, I might want to put down a small fence around this place too. Yeah, I think so. Let's just angle the camera here and that's really going to help just defend this building and uh, prevent some of the damage there we go we'll get that done and that's our fallback place um it, it came in handy we had our people run in there i should have made it a bit wider because when i grabbed several of them they they seem to feel like they're spawning outside it but see how that goes uh, it looks like Grayson's already gone I missed him uh, leaving um no we've got no research queued um I'm not sure there's anything we're particularly bothered about getting right now oh we've got some aggressive animals uh 38 of the overgrown ones seven huge ones and two brood mothers okay where are they looks like they're bothering some of the beasts up on the hill i think we've got to get on top of this one straight away this time so let me grab emmeline and rita um i think i'm gonna leave jack alone for now and let's see because he's got a he's in an average mood actually no risk of um, meltdown i wonder if these things are getting taken out by the uh Ulfren or whether they're absolutely wrecking the Ulfren. yeah they're kind of wrecking the Ulfrens. oh no this is going to be tricky this is going to be tricky okay Right, we've got uh, Emmeline and Rita in place now. So let's get them right over here. Um, we're going to have to take them to the fight, I think. It's dark and you're drowsy. Well, it's 1am in the morning. You shouldn't be that tired, really. This is going to be very tricky. So, Emmeline... Um, I want you a little closer. And Rita. Right, we want to kind of pull a few of these if we can. But not too many at once. Because they're fast. They're going to be really fast when they start running towards us. And we're on a hill. I don't know how this is going to work. Right, can you see any of them? A little closer. Okay, we've got a couple now. Oh, there's a big one. Yeah, we need to really 
whittle these down a little bit if we can. Okay, we've got a few coming in now. Uh, Rita, concentrate on that one, please, if you can. I think we're getting a bit of damage here. Yeah, we're getting some damage. Right, where are the rest of them? In the bushes, okay. Let's go back to uh, Emily. Should get you a little closer. And I think we'll get you up here too. Oh yeah, we've got this thing. Got this one over here. It's already bleeding out actually. And the good news is it's going for that Ulfren. Okay. Right, we're done. We're done. Awesome. Well done, ladies. I think there's a bit of damage to the mechs, but that is better than having them come to the base, I think. So let's get you all the way back home. That's cool. Oh, we've got a laser pike there. Uh, Quinn, could you haul the laser pike in, please? Why is there a laser pike on the ground, I wonder? Interesting. And then could you also haul the hides, please? Right, let's get these ladies back into the base. Yeah, that went much better. I think going out and attacking them up front is definitely the way to go. Lovely. Uh, undraft and dismount. Right, we've got expedition complete. We found the remains of an ancient ship of unknown origin. Tachyon radiation has been admitted from a broken terminal. I couldn't interact with it, but I see inscriptions in an alien language. Record what you can and return home. Nice, we can do some research on ancient language. Let's get that queued up. Lovely, there we go. Yep, that'll do for now. Right, how damaged did these things get? Little bit. Nothing to worry about, really. That's awesome. Quinn is constructing a fence. So it looks like we're having to go and get more um, nanotubes from around the place, maybe? Let's have a look. Yeah, looks like we don't have any actually in stock. So, um, let me see. I want to leave Emily and uh, Rita. Now uh, we need somebody fast to go and get some stuff. A function ceiling lamp. Right, Quinn, are you actually hauling a load of stuff? Yeah, you're already carrying 48 what you need that's fine Jack's getting something to eat I might get Jack he's not too bad he's not in too bad a mood let's get Jack to come up here and pull some stuff um Rita how are you doing you're drowsy yeah I'm gonna get you to come up and haul some as well Yeah, just want to get a few more of those in stock. So while, while it's quiet, while there's no risk of um, another attack, we'll get that stuff done. And it looks like we did manage to um, actually find some more electronics, which is awesome. That's very cool. We've got one left? Yep, perfect. Right, Quinn. Quinn, why don't you repair everything first? Yeah, I reckon you can do some do some construction actually. Um, let's see. 
Well, we'll see how that goes. Let's get him doing some construction. Might need to keep him on this just to, to get it done. Uh, low mood. Okay. Cave dweller. Yeah. Let's get him back doing that as well. You're hungry. I better let you go in a minute. Yep, I'll find Jack. I'll get Jack to do some of this. He's transporting 160 back. Good, good job, Jack. This is awesome. And Rita is getting some food. Looks like Rita's been doing some planting. Kind of wondering what might um, what might die off and what might continue to grow. Now we've got a, a few different um, items here. So we've changed this to grain grass field. Okay, it just needs planting. Too cold for sowing. Damn it. Okay, we missed our opportunity. It's okay. Hey, how is this doing? Yeah, and still a bit of uh, construction to do. That's going to protect the building and it hasn't obstructed the windows, which is kind of nice. I'm thinking we should probably put a sensor in here um, with some lights or something. What's happened to Emmeline? She's fainted. Oh no. Oh, she's so close. Um... Can we get uh, can we get Rita to come and get you? Carry uh, Emily to safety. Oh no! Please haul as well, Quinn. Oh, I never noticed. Poor Emily. Yeah, she's exhausted. Rita's probably not far behind. Well, she's tired, but she's pretty happy. Emily was, um, yeah, just exhausted. Well done. Nice job. This carbon arm is amazing stuff. Disturbed sleep while being carried because she's too tired. Oh, that's, that's awkward. Quinn? Quinn got in the way and made her have to run round. That's so funny. I love these fences. They look so cool. Whoa! Rude, Jack. No, I don't think she's going to need any treatment or anything. She's just exhausted. Rita's going to play the didgeridoo. Next, Grayson. Let's watch these guys then. Board Grayson with bland small talk. While you're playing the didgeridoo, that's quite a skill. Nice. Good job. That really makes them happy. Um, Jack is ill. Oh dear, this is not good. Oh, you're drunk. Uh, and you've got pneumonia. Whoops. Grayson reached healing one. Well done, Grayson. Well, we've only got a little bit of floor and um, one section of wall left, which is kind of nice to see. Now, what should we do here? I've got some concrete. Um, we can always close this gate and have another entrance over here with maybe a bit better um, constructed, uh, constructed um, turret defences and things. Um, and have this open and close the other one. And it gives us a choice, really, of where we want to bring things in. But maybe we should uh, sort of shore up this area a little bit first. Yeah, maybe. We don't have any exits along this section, do we? This is all just wall. Yeah, okay. So maybe I'm going to put down here concrete wall and we'll kind of double up this area um, 
Oh, that one goes straight into the water, which is kind of nice. I like that. Yep, that's good. I'll let them do that one section first. Right, what are you uh, working on, Jack? You're going to construct this fence, okay. And the carbon tiles for me, please. That looks cool. Grayson is cutting. Ah, that's what that did then. Hang on a second. Uh, bush fruits. Cancel cut. Grayson is now idling. Sorry, Grayson. Uh, Grayson, how about you head around and haul all this wood for me? Right, Quinn is constructing the uh, fortification. Jack's repairing the target. Not the best use of their time, is it this? Now, Quinn, 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 before you do anything, would you please pull this hay? Because I'm really not sure you'll be able to get to it otherwise. Uh, Grayson, can you also haul this wood, please? I know you might need to walk around a little bit, but let's get that out of that hole there. Tidy up after ourselves, that's awesome. Right, Jack is now going to build that wall, that's awesome. And we've got some... Uh, yeah, we've got some wood along here too. Now, Emily is cooking. Quinn's going to repair the printer. Okay, that's fine. Let me get you to haul some wood after that. Rita's going to salvage. And then I'm going to change Quinn's activity back to research, I think. Construct on two. Yep. That sounds good to me. We'll see how much of this wood he can pick up and get stashed away. Oh, this looks really cool over here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the same with the concrete all the way across this, this side here. So, concrete wall, and we'll take it from there and we'll go all the way across to the end here. We're not going to have nearly enough, but it's going to be a deterrent, so I think this is going to be the main area we're going to work in. So we'll need to turn this back on. How many alloys do we have? 257. We have quite a few now. So I think we can now bake some concrete. And we'll do the same on this one. We might need to find some stone to mine as well. I think we've got a, a bit of stone. Okay, that's looking good. Are, are these ready to harvest yet? No, nearly. Nearly. Uh, we can uh, salvage this. That's pretty close. Yeah, we've got some more wood here we could do with getting uh, carried in as well. Um, Rita. Oh, right. Yes, um, that was something I wanted to do and I think I've forgotten to do. Uh, animal fats, raw insect meat. No, that's fine. Vegetable oil and grain. Yeah. Vegetable oil from chew root. Yeah, none of that is using any of the meat. What about the recipe at the workbench? Liquid fuel. From oils and fats, which we've got, okay. Pulse rifle electronics, that's all sorted. 
Animal fats. Ah. Right, I want to get rid of this. And what can we do now? Liquid fuel from oil. Okay, I think that's okay. I want to start keeping some of the red meat for the cooking. Ah, uh, we've got a couple of laser pikes. Spare. People's laser pikes have degraded even though they've not really been using them. I wonder if that happens over time. Interesting. This is looking good now. Yeah, they're going to be much happier in that room. Okay, let's have a look at sensors. Um, is it in here? Motion sensor. So really, what we want... Let's see if there's a little spot we can put this in. Um, what we really want is this in the corner somewhere so that when we detect animals coming round the pond it activates some turrets but it doesn't look like... That might be good there actually. Yeah, let's put that there. And I might put a set of turrets up here on a high platform uh, we don't have to have that active just yet i, I just want to get it placed uh, we're going to need power over here as well which is not ideal but we can easily string um some power poles along here i guess um is it worth oh we got 18 days yeah is it worth putting a few of these around the place? How far can they go? Let's put one there. And we can get to there. Which is pretty good, pretty good. Or do we go across? No, I think it'd be good to line, keep them in line, wouldn't it? So to there, maybe. Um, let me hold down shift. Somehow I messed that up. And we need another one to here, somewhere. Because that's not going to reach. Yeah, okay. That's a shame. That would be good, I think. That's not going to be in the way too much. Yeah, I reckon right by the um, right by the fence. There's two walls there. Perfect spot, I think. And that's far enough away from the front of this building. Uh, it looks like they want to do a, a music night. Great idea. Let's do it. Perfect. We might get these tra um, transformed, uh, change them up into metal. Just because they're going to be in the way if we do start to get into any fights or something, so. How are we doing with these? Are these in progress? Uh, concrete uh, weighting materials. So we just need somebody to come and load these up, I guess. Looks like we do have to have them moved up a little bit. Let me get Rita to bake the concrete. Keep this going. Nice, okay. Um, right, Annette is uh, getting some sticks. Could you actually haul all of these back? Rather than just a couple? that all you can carry? Seriously? Oh my god. Right, Emmeline, let me get you to maybe haul this wood out of the way. 
Jack's constructing the fortification again. Well, it's looking good, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we've got a, a gate here. I don't think there was a gate on this section. Let me see. Just want to see if there was a gate maybe that I've blocked in here. Carbon fence, pole fence, no gates. So if we do put the um, concrete wall, we'll have to put some sort of gate in this corner here. That's fine. Yep, that'll work. Rita is transporting that. Yeah, and what I want to do is put some sort of floodlight in the centre here, I think. Um... Light and heat, here we are. Tilted floodlight. That uses four um, electricity. Mm. Severe cold snap, okay. Okay, we'll have to make sure everybody is warm. I think they'll be okay because they've um, got the carbon armor. Yep, looks like Emily's back to cooking. Most of the wood's been hauled now. Quinn is back researching. Uh, Rita, you're putting the meat in here. We've got a lot of dried meats. Wondering if we probably want to take off this now. Yeah, we've got plenty of dried meat. Let's keep the, the raw red meat in here and now we're printing it. How are we doing for fuel? 199 that's awesome yeah that's pretty good that's consuming 20 no active task we could probably turn that off unless there was something we wanted to craft up here cpu cores maybe cpu cores uh until we've got 20 maybe Need silicon and metal alloys, but let's make sure we keep a few of those in stock, I guess. Yeah, we don't need any clothes, liquid fuel. Excellent, okay. Batteries are looking good. Is this growing? Average growth 20%. Hmm. Yep, Jack is still working on the fortification. Good job, Jack. Whoa, music night. Um, Jack. How long is it going to take? Are you going to miss music night? Sending music night, yeah, good for you. I, I was worried he was going to miss out there let's have a look at what they're doing all in spaceship debris again yikes okay let's slow it down look at these musical geniuses that's so fun yeah they do seem to like it Look at them all in their carbon armour. Minus 16 outside. They don't seem like they're very cold or struggling or anything, do they? Uh, we can get rid of you, you, motion sensor, battery. Yep, it's all looking good. Right, so this is unpowered. That's fine. Um, I'm going to just get that turned off. And this was on circuit one and two. Yeah, one and two. So I want this one on three. Uh, yeah, we'll put that on three and inactive on four. And then anything here, like floodlights or turrets or whatever, we'll put it on 
the same that we did here. Um, so two would be... Right, so one would be active. So this one would be... Active would be three. Yep, cool. Yeah, so any turrets we place, we'll put it on circuit three. So when it senses something in range, the turrets will be activated and uh, yeah, we can, we can shoot stuff. We might even build a huge big platform here above the, the height of the wall and put the turret on there. That might be a good place. And even here, same thing. Uh, and then wall around it even with a gate or something. That might be the way to go. Yeah, I might do that. Need more concrete first though. Let's get our stocks of, of cement back up again. Uh, we could... Oh, I've just realised I've lost the blueprint of the mech. The big huge mech. Uh, we could get the materials placed in that, but I think I'm going to hang on to this until we scavenge the mech cores, I think. Okay, let me change some priorities again. So we have Jack on construction, hunt, scavenge. Emily's doing, Emily's doing very well on cooking. Rita doesn't have a lot to do, does she? Um, she's got some mining. Uh, we could get her scavenging as well. Uh, let me have a look and see if I can find any more stone, actually. It's cold, but it's not too bad. They can head out and do some mining, I reckon. The light in there is amazing. It's lovely. There's a bit of stone up here. Rock chunks. Get that done. And look at this landscape. Um, oh, it's lovely. Yeah, we've got a little bit more stone and stuff here. And we still have some nanotubes. You're constructing. Can I get you to haul these nanotubes back as well? Might scavenge some more um, alloys. That's awesome. Rita's transporting the electronics back. So this bit of construction's done. Almost, almost. So we'll keep just getting Jack to um, head out and, g and gather these resources. I think the next wall we're going to do is probably along here. Look at the... Um, the carbon wall is discoloured in the uh, temperature. Probably like a frost effect, I guess. Okay, we can get rid of you. Everyone seems fairly happy. I'm going to get Quinn to come out and haul some wood. Why did you go all the way over there? Oh, because you need transport into there. I understand. Okay, where are you, Jack? Yep, you're coming back. You're hungry. I'm going to leave you alone for a little bit. Oh, Jack. Go and have something to eat. Don't go to bed hungry. Is there any food? Eat buttermelon pie. There you go. Have a buttermelon pie. And maybe... What else could you have, Jack? Uh, grain porridge as well? Maybe I disturbed you eating the um, buttermelon pie. Gosh, we've got crap all over the floor in here, guys. <laughs> Come on. Just wondering what else I should be working on. Let's have a look at constructing these um, towers here. I want to slow it right down. So, flooring. I want it with a roof, I guess. Uh, do I go for concrete? 
or carbon. Integrity is 300 on the carbon. And we've got quite a bit of carbon. Uh, how high up can we go with this? Uh, Z and X. Let's have a look. And we want it right in the corner. And we want it above the wall height, don't we? And it's honestly got to have enough room to get a turret on. 3 by 3 And then we'll wall, wall round it with some concrete as well. Should we do that and see what that, how that works? wonder if that's blocked line of sight. Maybe. The good thing about this is um, we're not going to need any um, roof or anything. Yeah, that's the same height. So let's do a three by three here as well. Three by three. Let's try that. And then I'm going to wall around as well. Um, and we'll put a little door in for access. So they can reach. Um, maybe even once we've walled in, we'll remove one of these fence panels so they can get access to repair stuff. Yeah, let's try that. Rita's off salvaging again. Everyone seems fairly happy. Jack's repairing battery. I'm going to get you to haul this wood because it's been lying on the ground for such a long time now. Okay, we can speed things up. Malfunction battery again. Yeah, 257. We need some uh, concrete going, please. I might grab Emmeline to bake some concrete here. So what would that be? Activities. So, um, handle? Yeah, it must be handling. What have I got Grayson doing? You're crafting. Let me get you on handling one and, and see if that makes a difference. Right, Rita, you're transporting back a mech core, which is awesome. That is good news. Our grain and everything here is looking a little low, isn't it? Yeah, we've not got a lot of grain left. Um, coffee uses grain. Grain porridge. Veggie soup. Meat soup, veggie pizza. Meat stew. Put some meat stew. Uh, fruit flambe should we should have plenty of stuff for that. Uh, maybe I'll pause the grain porridge after this one. Wow. Yeah, that's getting that's getting made very quickly. Uh, Quinn's hungry. Buttermelon pie. Jack's unrelaxed. Wait, how are we doing on these things? We've still got a little bit of construction to do there. Looks like he got interrupted. Yep. You're not in a great mood. I wonder if I could get you to come and construct that, please. Quickly, Quinn. Shooting star, meteor, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And that's awesome, getting that mech core. Yeah, I just want to see what this looks like. Now, I hope he doesn't box himself in somehow. Which is always a possibility. And of course, I've got to get the flooring put in, in here as well, otherwise they'll freak out. Yep, that'll do. And on this side too. Flooring, ceramic tile. 
Very cool. Construct um, carbon floor. Yeah, you're doing that. And then can I get you to construct those? Then this and then those. Oh, Jack is doing those. Oh, Quinn. Um, whoops. Could you rescue Quinn? I, I've done it again. I've, I've worked them to exhaustion. This is looking pretty cool though. A lot of concrete needed to do the rest of this though. That's the trouble. Uh, Grayson's going mining. Okay. Well, that's okay. 56 uh, scrap has just been harvested. Or salvaged even. Right, Jack, you're constructing the roof here. Jack's getting something to eat. Well, this will get done soon enough. And um, we've still got plenty of stuff. We've got a couple of aggressive animals. Okay. Uh, well, they're not far away. Who could I uh, borrow? Who's close by? Um, are you... Yep, you're here. Let me get you to please jump in one of these mechs. And Emmeline, what are you doing? In the middle of cooking. How much do you have left? Let's have a look. 23%. Let's let you finish that. Right, Rita, come all the way over there, please, if you wouldn't mind. I know you've got to go all the way around. Emmeline, let me get you to mount that. And you can come here, but you're going to leap because I forgot to ask um, Rita to leap properly. Why won't they leap? I think it's the way. There we go. They're pro probably too close, aren't they? That's it. Right, I don't know how vicious these things are. It's the first uh, encounter I've had with these. So let's, uh, let's see how these ladies get on with this. Right, hopefully you'll be in range of one of them. Oh my god. Okay, you took those down pretty easily. There's another one left somewhere. Uh, where? Over there, okay. Right, Rita, could you head that way? And Emmeline, could you head that way? And hopefully one of you can see it now. Oh, perfect. Good job, ladies. Uh, come back here, please. And we'll get you uh, inside and you can get to sleep. All right, we need some glitter caps. Oh, dear. Right, let's leap you over there. Let's leap you over here. And let's try not to walk, uh, run over Grayson. Oh, Grayson's been out mining. Okay. Lovely. Okay, undraft and dismount. Thank you, ladies. Let's set these to uh, be butchered, I think. Uh, might give us some decent food. Yeah, it was a small raid, wasn't it? That's pretty cool. So we've got this construction left to do. How long have we been going? About 45 minutes. Yeah, this is definitely going to need some concrete around it, that's for sure. We've got 40 concrete there. I still think this is the way to go, having the lake. Um, hopefully... Uh, a nice turret on here, maybe one facing this way, one facing this way. 
should take care of uh, any issues. But um, we definitely have to put a concrete wall around the rest of the place for sure. Because these wooden walls are not going to last long. So how is this going now? Are we getting a little bit more stuff made away to materials? Okay. How's research going actually? 81% dedicated space for experiments and rese researching of new things. Oh, okay. That might unlock some more research for us then. We can't make any smoke leaf pipes. Uh, we might be able to make... Oh no, we can make smoke leaf pipes, can't we? Uh, we've got 20 in stock anyway, that's fine. How much fuel do we have these days? 209. That's nice to see. We've got one mech core. We need another one. And we can get that great big mech built. So I think scavenging is going to be the way to go for a while. Let's see if we're lucky. It's pretty cold out, minus four. This stuff is still growing. Yeah, very slowly. It's not very happy, but still growing. Okay, so that's off. Definitely need some lights around the place. Quinn is making a snowman. It's that time of year again. Good on you, Quinn. That's awesome. Oh. oh that looks really cool yeah the lighting's amazing at this time of year okay let's see how Jack is getting on with this construction you're doing the tiles you're going to need some more nanotubes I reckon we could get some printed now. Although I think we've got a few in stock. Yeah, a couple. We've got we've got a little bit in stock there. Uh, we've got the insect meat from uh, that attack. That is awesome. Isn't it funny the way he chooses to do one lot over there, one lot over here? Jack, it's not very efficient what you're doing now. Okay, that one is done. Let me put the roof on. Okay, they're done, I think. I think we're good to go there. He's off salvaging now. Uh, Concrete-wise, we've not got a great deal. Let me have a look. Concrete. Kind of want to discourage them from coming this way, I guess. We'll put that right down into the water, maybe. They might not be able to get to this, I'm just thinking. They might not be able to. I don't know if they can walk in the, the water. Uh, no queued research. Let's uh, cancel that. Researched ancient language, okay. Scavenge some more of that. Now, what does that mean with regards to these expeditions? Let's have a look. Uh, hmm, let me have a look. Who is the best? Who is the best at um, intelligence? I think it's Quinn. Intellect. Yep, yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. Intellect 10. Should we send Quinn on an expedition? Yeah, okay. Let's just see what happens. I, I don't know what that mission actually um, entails, but yeah, let's, uh, let's try. 
So we want a fence door. We want a carbon fence door somewhere here, don't we? Before we do that, can we put in a fence door? No. Maybe they can walk around to get to this. I'm not sure. Maybe. Let me put a little fence door in there. And then we might want to take this down. Um, a gate, maybe? A little metal gate? Carbon gate? Oh, I see. No, we don't want that. Um, fortification, fence gate, fence door. So we might want to put just a little carbon fence door in there. Just so we can get through and, and get to, um, to repair that. If it becomes an issue and they can't walk around, we'll see. We'll see if they can walk around first. Let me cancel that, actually. They can walk around and do it then. That's no big deal. So research, we've got nothing queued. Okay, let's see what this says. The ancient ship is emitting an automated distress message. The message tells the story of an ancient terraforming fleet that reached the planet many millennia ago. It is not clear what were their objectives or whether the fleet managed to complete them. I see nothing of further use here. Oh, okay. Uh, but Queen gets the discovered ancient civilization pleasure. What does that mean? Is he going to be like permanently happy? She made the discovery of a lifetime plus 25. I should have sent Jack on that. New insect nest. Oh god, where the hell is this? Look how far away that is. Nope. Not going to be doing anything with that. Well, that's interesting backstory though. I think we had to go on one and see. See what it meant. But I think think looking at the time that is where we're going to leave this episode we're at 56 minutes in we've um, made a bunch of progress I'm so pleased with the carbon wall I think that looks great and we've got a little wall surrounding our safe room with a, a proper floor in now so they're not going to get upset and we've made a start here on our fortifications so Next up, I think I want to see if this wall, this uh, concrete wall works and they can get around. This side will be easier because we'll bring the wall out and around and we'll put a proper gate in here and leave some space. In fact, we could put a little... No, I think we should have an external wall. They they'll just need to walk around to access stuff. That's fine. Uh, but these two platforms are going to have some turrets on. And they should, because of the positioning, be able to cover the entrance, I think. Um, but also, with the use of this sensor, I am hoping they'll be able to activate once, um, once something comes into range here. You know, there's no reason why we can't always put some more sensors around. Um, pr probably one over here, maybe. Um, that'll activate this on the same circuit because the um, turrets will only fire once they've got something in range so yeah I think that's a good start and I am still worried about this area back here but we can always use mechs to protect all of this here that that's um that's one of the things we could do and of course we have salvaged a very important thing a mech core we need one more Hopefully our luck will be um, good in the next one. We can get that huge mech built. And I think that's going to solve a lot of our problems anyway, moving forward. Uh, but yeah, I think that's a great place to leave it. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.